definitely got definitely got that tower crane going on the stress test it's not just going on a rotation test it's going on a stress test at the same time too That swinging pulley just went down into the yard itself. Latched on, but it didn't raise anything up out, but it was latched on to where the, um, the cable was under stress. And now we just got 90 degree movement. there from its stress point stress point and it's moving 180 towards 180 of that stress point and it's at 180 right now It's moving towards 270. Yeah. Yeah, so it stops at 270 from that snow. Yeah, it stopped at 270 from where it went under that stress test. So three quarters. And that glare is not no. So it's moving now, no, no, no. It's gonna remain. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think the August sun has decided after a weekend of rain to show its beautiful face. Okay. So it stopped right there at 270 from its test point and now yeah now he's lowering that empty cable empty pulley system down back into the pit and it's under stress as I speak right now that cable is under stress so it we'll call north zero and now it's at east performing stress test and See if we could get a look at what it's testing on. Yeah, so the pulley is down in the hole. It ain't pick it doesn't it hasn't picked anything up. But remember that point right there. Let's get a look. See if we could get a look. Quick look. And I'm doing this video because you guys are not going to be getting a blow by blow every day type thing. Yeah. The professional among you guys who look at my video will know what's going on. But 
for other people. I mean, I show, I show this type of curiosity, and I'm not the type that get knocked off like the cat. So I'm. I don't think it's a great assumption that there are other people out there that like to relax and see the inner workings the inner workings just dropped my pen the inner workings of what it takes to bring a building up from its foundation to its actual application okay so that's where it's doing its stress test there and let's see if it's more than just a stress test and it actually picks something up but that cable is under full tension right now without without you know what i mean without without um moving that object off the floor it's on a full tension and it actually has moved something off the floor you can see how it's swinging and you got inspectors What calibration they are making right there is being attained by communications with the operator in the cab and his gauges and their let's call it vernia caliper their rulers down there and the rulers up there which are gauges digital and possibly some analog and you got inspectors a mass there that's looking to give this crane possibly final approval of operations the first tower crane and this would be happening before just before the second one starts its base assembly, its foundation assembly. And I'm thinking that that one is bigger than this one. But it might be an optical illusion because that one is up and the parts of the other one is right there. But what's giving me Got a lot of background noise. But what's given me the mind to say that that one is possibly larger is that base there. And I know it's a part of the base because it's red. And no other part of the crane is red but for the very base the very bottom and I've never seen I've not seen any part of the other one that was as large as that I may have missed it yes but I don't think so okay so yeah it's going through its stress test because it's suspended let me see if I can see oh matter of fact they raised it so it's not really on their way let's see if they put it on the way a 
Well, let's wait and see if they put it on the way. That's just the weight of the pulley itself. So the way the way that these guys are acting, it seems like we might even get our first hoist carry and delivery of this tower crane because what I'm looking at is a, a bunch of guys that look can all I can only say are inspectors around the perimeter the upper balcony and Okay, so I'm looking through there and they're definitely fixing a package for this crane to make its initial run. I've been in this position for what now, Bob? 15, 20 minutes. And I've seen the hats change on the floor and position finally just change of those hats so they're moving into position to check that package that this crane is going to use for tests no doubt about it because not only do you have the operator up there and it might be normal operation but you also have about two or three other guys up there checking various points from time to time. So definitely we're gonna have a bit of luck here with the first run. And we pray for what a successful run of this tower crane. So I just talked to one of the guys and this is absolutely its initial stress test. As the crane sit right now, at that angle from the support to the, 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 the pulley, it's at maximum inward reach. So it's going it's at its inward reach right now and then they're going to do a outward reach it's maximum out and this test is performed at 105%. So when that crane during its operation period of these 2 years is uh utilized to to move weight it's not going to go over that 105 but it's gonna go between a hundred percent and zero percent which is a you would say it's at zero now it's zeroed now so the, the maximum stress is gonna go up to a hundred and five percent and I asked him about the second um, tower crane that is being constructed and I said to him that I would assume that it would only need one crane that would reach around the entire building as it, as it go up. And he said, no, they, the, uh, a, a, a typical construction of a building of this size um, call for two, two tower cranes. And the building is split in half with one going to one crane and one going to the other crane. So, uh, uh, I didn't, I didn't um, put the word redundancy in there, but I would say that it is some type of, more of a, a redundancy thing where 
uh, 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 one crane backs up another, if you have a failure in one crane, then the other crane can actually reconstruct the other crane. So, yeah, I never thought of it that way, but that's, that, that, that's how they do it, uh, with two cranes. So we got the MedLife building there. I don't know how that was constructed, but he said you need two cranes when you're building this building. And it's going to be the second tallest building in New York. And I don't want this to go too long, but I'm getting some information this morning. So you guys bear with me if you see a couple of posts. And this is deep into this video at 15 minutes. I could go to uh, 30, 40 minutes, well, but I don't see that. But he said that the weight is being prepared on the floor, just like I assumed a couple of minutes ago, just like I stated. Yeah. And why didn't I have the, 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 the um, camera in his face? Well, my, I'm more independent than anything else. So I have to pay, play devil's advocate. And devil's advocate just means that commission Okay, sir. Commissions, um, commissions, com uh, uh, com uh, commissions that govern these inspectors. And if he's giving out too much information, uh, opposed to me just telling you, I'm not saying verbatimly, but we'll see in the video if we stick to the line of what I um, interpret what he said, because he's a professional. I'm just the guy who's trying to gather some information and uh, yeah. did I say gather? Yes, <laughs> and I am gatherer. So let's wait for them to actually put the crane under its test. It's at zero now. You see, it can't reach anywhere in, any more into the, 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 the support, the base, the, um, the tower. That pulley as it sit right there, cannot go in in its 360 degree rotation. It will never go anywhere closer to that tower. So it's going to start, the test is going to start from there and proceed out. Whether or not they're, whether they're going to go from minimum to maximum reach, we'll see. So as we wait for that final part of the test, let me take care of a few things. beaming sharp contrast to what we went through this weekend with rain we still got water <laughs> and the sun is beaming we still got water left over from rain this weekend but you couldn't tell this is August I said we didn't have that terrible August heat wave. Yeah. So let me. I gotta go do a couple of things. Hopefully, I don't miss that part of that test. 